from our North Idaho newsroom tonight. Just eight months after the Sunshine Mine reopened, the owners announced it's stopping production. Sterling Mining Company says delays and a drop in prices played a role in the difficult decision. And KXY4's Annie Bishop explains how neighbors in the Silver Valley feel about the news. Close to 100 people received a pink slip yesterday here at Sunshine Mine. Neighbors in the Silver Valley say it is a sad day. Inside the Silver Mining Association, Shauna Hillman educates visitors and locals about the mining industry. 5.30 at the Coeur d'Alene Dock. Hillman learned of the Sunshine Mine stopping production yesterday. The fact that, that Sterling had brought Sunshine up to a working mine at Christmas time in 2007 made it special and and uh, a big deal to the community because it was one more mine working again and and it's too soon to be closing in a news release the company says production through the end of August totaled almost 354,000 ounces of silver much less than originally expected and with silver prices nearly cut in half from almost $20 an ounce last year to $12 this week, the company says it could not secure funding to operate at the current level. Dave Bond, a journalist who covers the silver industry in a national publication, believes the mine did not have to stop production. It was unnecessary, sick and wrong. Totally unwarranted. Un and again, unnecessary. Bond believes the mine had plenty of opportunity to secure funding. This is an aberration. Uh, the other mines in this district are quite healthy. The Lucky Friday's going along great guns. Sterling's interim president, Ken Bersht, says stopping production was the company's last resort, saying, quote, this has been an extremely difficult decision to make, and we shared the disappointment of our employees and the local community, but we believe this is the only reasonable. The company will continue to employ 60 or so people for maintenance, limited development, and exploration. Sterling Mining Company says reopening Sunshine Mine will depend on two things, securing significant financing and market conditions. In the Silver Valley, Annie Bishop, KXLY4 HD News.